everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm christina and welcome to my house basically so if you can't already tell by the title it is time to decorate in the parmenter household um it is currently i think around the 11th of is it the 11th it's around the 12th, it's the 12th, yeah, it's the 12th today, it's the 12th of November today, and I just couldn't wait any longer, and normally I wait until the week before the first weekend of December, but this year I'm just too excited, and I'm like, I need to put it up before, if you're not excited like me, the Santa Claus is coming out as a TV show on Disney+. Plus. And I'm so excited, it comes out on the 16th. So I thought to myself, do you know what? I can't watch that without my house decorated. So if you're the same, this is the weekend and you're watching this video and you're like, my decks aren't up. Then this is, the this is your sign. This is your sign to go and put them up. But anyway, grab your teas, grab your coffees. I'm gonna just have a bit of a tidy of the hallway. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really sorry about some of the angles that's probably gonna happen in this video, just because like my main tripod is not here and I have ordered a new one and it was supposed to come today and I could wait until tomorrow, but I can't wait either. So I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna film my tree. It is getting late, so the lighting may also change. It's getting, it's 20 to four now, so left it a bit late but I kicked Charlie out the house he's gone he's gone out and I'm gonna turn this place into a little winter wonderland so yeah I have my the best jumper on ever jumper dress it says kiss you underneath the mistletoe on the back and I'm obsessed this is from pretty little thing I'll link it below and I love it I just love it this is me, this is what I'm gonna be wearing on Christmas morning, and then I'll get changed. <laughs> but enough of me rambling. If you are new here, hi, I'm Christina. I'm pretty sure I've already said this, but please subscribe, like, do all the things because it will really help me out and my channel. Yeah, and it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and follow me, so it would really help me out and I would really appreciate it. But yeah, feeling all cute today. No extensions in, this is the new me, and let's get tidy in. <laughs>
Okay, so the video, the video, what am I on? The tree is up nicely. Remy is already in the skirt of it. But I think it's up and I might have to just put, you know, what do you call it? Spread out the leaves a bit, the branches, um, but I think it's good. I'm so warm, it's unreal. But let's it's time for the tinsel i think next and then we can start decorating it so this is what it looks like without any tinsel on it still looks lovely because it's still got the pine cones and the berries on it so you could literally leave it like that if you really wanted to um it still looks nice and cozy and christmasy um by the way look at remy can you see her you probably can't, but she has decided to try and get comfy in there. Um, so this is gonna be a fun time. Remy! So last year to make this candy cane theme tree, what I did is took red and silver tinsel and then wrap it around each other so it looked like a candy cane. And I'm gonna do the same this year. The tinsel is on do you see what i mean i kind of twirled it around um each other so it gives that candy cane effect um and then i use one two three four five six but so it looks like three and if you're going to try and do this i recommend getting the thicker tinsel not the thin tinsel just so it pushes it out a bit pushes it out makes it look fuller um but yeah, that's that. So it's now time to put the sticks on the tree. I'm gonna do the top first, I think, this year, and then go around it. bought these last year which they kind of go like as filler in the tree so where there's any gaps this is where I'll stick these to hide them um, and I've obviously got the ones with candy hangs in them I did get these from garden center last year so I'm sure most garden centers do them <laughs> I have two Disney baubles and these are the only baubles that go on this tree because this one is basically got candy cane on him and I just love this one. Got Mickey and Minnie and there's a candy cane coming out and they're just kind of the colours of the candy cane tree so these are the only two Disney baubles that go on here. This is what it's looking like so far. Just need to add now all the baubles, the candy cane baubles, and it's pretty much there. We 
good in the hood is nearly done. This is the tree in all its glory. I'm, I love it. I absolutely love it. How stunning. Let's just move my wreath out of the way. But that is a lovely tree. Gonna go and put my Mickey wreath on the door. It is a bit dark and gloomy. And then I also need to put my new Christmas mat down that I got last year. And yeah, so this is my hallway reef. It's Disney, um, of course. And it's just a little Mickey reef. I wanted to get some like lights to go around it and kind of like sew it on, but I don't know if I'm gonna. But that's my little reef. And let's go and get the door mat. This. So this is my new doormat for the hallway. So it's grey, so it matches my carpet. And then this bit is actually looking quite bare. So I don't know whether I want to kind of wrap tinsel going up here, um, white and red, and then have some lights hanging off it. Um, but I don't have it at the minute. So stay tuned for that. But I don't know if you noticed on the tree, so basically I have a confession to make. Sorry, I'm literally out of breath. Um, but the tree did have red and silver tinsel. And I did think this doesn't look right. The whole time I'm doing it, I was like, this isn't right. I don't know what's wrong with it, but this isn't right. It doesn't look right. And I'm using the wrong tinsel. So I fixed that halfway, well, literally at the end. So you show, I showed you the end and then I was like, it doesn't look right. It's, it doesn't look candy cane enough. And so that's why. And then I changed it. So I just literally changed the tinsel and then moved some baubles around. But yeah, love it now. Looks really good. How cool. I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. But yeah, the hallway's a bit bare. So probably stay tuned for some upcoming vlogs because I'm definitely getting new stuff this year. And yeah, so upcoming vlogs, do subscribe to see all the festive festivities over on this channel because we're doing a lot this year, not gonna lie. But yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna move on to the living room. Um, it's pretty bare. I've just literally had a spritz around and I just didn't film it. Cause I was like, I'm literally hoovering and just giving the shelves a bit of a wipe down. I always get Joe Calypse when I drink and wear, and wear red lipstick. It's really annoying. But this is what the living room looks like at the minute. I will be getting a real tree to go in this corner. Um, but you're gonna again have to stay tuned and subscribe to my channel to see when that comes. But I'm literally just making this room a little bit more Christmassy. Um, and yeah, and then the main event, the main Christmas tree will come the first weekend of December. And that's like how I roll. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And first things first, I'm gonna just swap out the blankets. So 
don't kill me, but I have decorated the living room. I just thought I'd show you what it looks like at the end. Because I feel like you don't really need to see me putting it out. Um, but yeah, I will show you now. So I put the wreath on the door, my Disney wreath. So that's looking lovely. And then on this shelf here, I've just got two little Disney lights. I didn't know, to be honest, what to do with them. Um, and then I have advent calendars here, just number ones for me and Charlie. And then just these cute, so basically one year my tree fell over and my baubles break broke but these i managed to save so i just use them as ornaments um and that's pretty much that then as we go through there's a santa hat this is my tv display so this is what it looks like from here um obviously there will be a tree here so it's a bit bare at the minute but I have a Disney tree and the train that goes round here. Have my stocking with that on. I have last year's festive spice, which I'm gonna burn so I can put this year's one out. These all need candles in them. Um, and then this year's festive spice, we've got a white one and a gold one. Charlie's stocking and then we've got the Disney castle we also have this elf which is a countdown to Christmas and then Merry Christmas up here and a stocking and then this here I'm definitely going to evolve evolve this year because I want to get hanging stars to go up here um but this is what it currently looks like. So we've got the Grinch, we've got the Nutcracker, but it's Jack. We have my, I always have my Disney things, but I've actually changed the bulb. So they're looking bright. I have another Grinch stealing all the presents. Believe in the magical Christmas sign. I love that sign. Um, the Grinch again, holding the Christmas tree my light and then this is also my one of my favorite decks um so it's basically the disney crew putting the tree up and then over here is just a little corner this also may evolve i'm not sure but this is a new addition this year the winnie the pooh christmas just loved it i just that is a biscuit holder um, I just need to fill it up actually and then we come round I got these this year from Asda and they're only two pound so go and grab some they're china I think they're china is that what they're called Ch no they're ceramic Mickey Mouse coasters and they say Merry Christmas so I picked up four of them this is that was there last year just snowman and santa claus got obviously my disney throws i picked these up last year these little guys i've had for ages and didn't really know what to do with them so i just sat them on my radiator and then i also have this guy down here the elf that's what it looks like at in the light i guess in the light even though it's pitch black outside because it's like seven o'clock now but i'm finished doing this um but I'm gonna turn the lights off and show you. So this is what it looks like all dark. So it just looks lovely and cozy. Imagine a tree there, imagine hanging lights. Like it's definitely gonna evolve. I always want a rug here. I just feel like that would make it so cozy, but I just don't trust my cats with it. Um, this is the current stitch. Actually, I need to put the TV on, really. But let's put the TV on and make a Christmas scene. And we'll start again. Okay, guys. So I've just been editing the video for Christmas. 
and I'm not gonna lie, it ended abruptly because my phone battery died and that's what I filmed the Decorate With Me on. Um, but I thought I'd just tell you my little story. So let me just show you what my current hallway situation looks like. As you can see, there is no tree. We still have the reef up, the Disney reef, and also the mat that needs sorting. Don't, don't. But the tree isn't up in the hallway. So I thought I'd just give you a little rundown of what happened. So that same night, I had a realization that. So basically our fridge is broken and it needs replacing. So we don't actually have a fridge at the minute. So I'm not complaining, we're getting all the bad food in the house, I'm not gonna lie. But I do need to sort my life out when that arrives. Um, but yeah, it's a couple of days later. And basically that same night, I feel like I had a bit of a mare anyway, like the tinsel went wrong and everything kind of went wrong. Um, but the funny story is, if you've seen the Grinch, you'll know that he steals the Christmas tree. So that same night, I basically was dragging this Christmas tree into the living room. Um, God knows what my neighbours must have thought of me. Like, literally, I was on the floor pulling this tree because Charlie wasn't in. I took the top off because obviously it wouldn't fit on the door. But I was like, I'm not, I'm not decorating this again. It is done. I'm just going to try and drag it. So that's what I did. I dragged it into the living room and it's now in the living room. Um, but I do want to get a real tree still this year, but I don't really know what I'm going to do because I do like it in the living room as well, but I just prefer a real tree because it smells nice. But I thought I'd just show you an update and then if you subscribe and everything and let me know in the comments, um, I will do a kind of like a day to night of my decorations once I have my real tree. Um, so you get a better feel for what it looks like, if that makes sense. So that's the plan. That's what I'm going to do right now. It's also taken me a while to edit and upload this because I've been so busy with work. So it's now actually, what is the date today? I think it's the 20th of November. Um, so if you're watching it at the weekend, yeah, like at the beginning of this video, I, it was like the 11th and my tree has been up since then i just haven't had time to edit this video but anyway enough about that let's show you the let's show you the finished room so we have the reef on the door as i mentioned i do want to put some lights around it at some point um then we go in here it's got the merry christmas so it all looks pretty similar we have the elf countdown we have this christmas scene going on these are actually really cool. These were from um, Costco last year. I have my Festive Spice candles, Mr. and Mrs. P um, stockings. My mum kindly got me the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar, so I've just popped that there. And then this is the tree in the living room, which I do love in here. But I just wish that it was my real tree, I'm not going to lie. I didn't have to move it, but there we are. So this is the candy cane tree in all its glory. You can't really see because of the sun. Um, that isn't a very good angle. So this is what it looks like because it is daytime when I'm filming this. And then along the window, we've got the Grinch, Jack, all of that. Believe in the magic of Christmas. Got some heroes there. Got some Christmassy magazines. I've got my new Winnie the Pooh set, which you would have seen. And then down here, I've just got our little Christmas collection of toys. So this was in a Freddo one year I got. Got a little Grinch. This is actually my favorite Christmas film at the minute. Um, the cartoon Grinch. And then we've also got to the carrot from the Audi advert. <laughs> then on here, we've got the Merry Christmas coasters. And then these have actually fell down. I haven't picked them up. So sorry about that, real, real life. But they go on here. And then I've got 
these which Nala must have been at because they sit next to each other like so my little elves on the radiator and then an elf down here and that's the room basically like it is lovely but yes that was my that was my Christmas disaster but it's all good we're all good in the hood um it wasn't the end of the world it was more funny than anything if you were here you would have been crying i was crying if anyone was there with me i, I think i wouldn't have put the tree in because i would have been dying with laughter but it will i think i am going to move it back into the hallway at some point um because that is normally where i put my real tree but i do love it there so let me know what you think do you think i should keep the candy game tree in the living room or in the hallway let me know in the comments below but anyway i'm gonna stop rambling and leave it there i hope you like this video i'm sorry it was a bit <laughs> chaotic it was sometimes it was catastrophic for me catastrophic but yeah i'm gonna leave that there i hope you liked it please subscribe like hit the bell it would do me wonders and i'll see you in my next video bye